Nebraska is facing record-breaking drought, the likes of which have not been seen since the Dust Bowl of the Great Depression. On the ground, dried out plants and dead lawns show the impact of drought. In the sky, a drone offers a different drought perspective. The Platte River, which runs across the middle of the state, has become a long sandbar, braided by streams. What got us in this position in the first place was really a lack of snowfall in the Rockies. Mm -hmm. So we had very little inflow into our water supply system, like McConaughey, the Platte River, and that's what trickles down into the aquifers from which uh, cities draw a lot of their water. These ongoing drought conditions have widely impacted Nebraskans by limiting water available for farms and communities. The amount of water that's used for irrigation is inversely related to the amount of precipitation. In March, the Platte River's stream gauge in the farming community of Duncan, Nebraska, reported a water flow of 3,300 cubic feet of water per second. By July 16th, the Platte was completely dry and stayed dry until September 11th. This footage was captured near Duncan on October 5th using a UNL Nimbus Lab drone flown by Carrick Detweiler, the lab's co-director. If you look out off the bridge, you can see that it's sandy and dry there, but when you get up really high and actually see the extent that it's not just locally here, but rather it's very far-reaching and you know, it just goes on and on these sandbanks. It's amazing how little water there is in the river. So this is add about the limit of what, what the FAA allows at this point. Many of the state's wetlands have also dried up. When water is present, migrating birds roost in these areas as they make their trek south for the winter. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and the Nebraska Game and Parks Commission have been pumping underground water into the wetlands. We try to put just enough water in to provide habitat for the wildlife, the water birds that are using that, and they don't need a lot of water. It's okay for wetlands to go dry periodically, and the plant and animal life are well adapted to that. So, so there's a number of wetlands when it's dry that we just allow to, to go dry and to stay dry. When this drought ends will depend on the next few months. This winter will be critical to see what sort of uh, precipitation we get in order to replenish those water supplies.